Hello and welcome along. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the build mode in Farming Simulator 22 and building ourselves a farm here on the default Elm Creek map. Uh, it's quite a nice starting area we have here on Elm Creek, so we should be able to build a fairly nice yard around this area. Now, to find the build mode, you head into the shop screen and it is the bottom option here under the burger menu and then it is the third option here under construction there are lots of different sections to the build mode uh, we've got buildings which have sheds silos silo extensions containers tools and farmhouses we've got the production section that has factories selling points greenhouses orchards and generators we've got the animal section that has buildings for cows horses pigs sheep chickens bees and others we have the decorations which has fences lights and others and then we have the landscaping which has the sculpting painting trees and plants the other option here under the build menu is here hidden over the right hand side and i see lots of people asking about this basically how do you sell or remove buildings in farming simulator 22 well it's one single button it's the demolish button here on the right hand side you click on that and then you are able to remove buildings and one of the nice things actually about elm creek's starter farm is that any of the three buildings here can also be removed under the build menu. So I'm going to remove this uh, this shed at the back here as we want to have the extra space. So we will click on that and it says, do you want to sell decoration for uh, zero euros? Because we uh, it isn't worth anything and we go, yes. And there we go. So that is how you remove any of these things from the map if you want to it only works on the buildings uh starting buildings it only works in this farm at the moment unfortunately um but i believe that that is being looked at for other farms on this map now we want to have a look at the sculpting to start i think uh we want to see if we can uh just have a look at the new options on here and so under sculpting we have got uh raise and lower flatten smooth and uh slope which are uh the four options slope is a new option and in fs19 you couldn't create an almost vertical side like this and i'm just going to demonstrate how the slope works quickly because it's a little bit more complicated than the others uh, and i'm going to bring up the f1 menu here so that you can see what i'm doing as well so to start with i'm just going to create myself a peak a point here on my farm so we're just going to do that and uh, we're going to create a, a fairly sharp uh, sort of peak here in the middle. Now what I can do with this is I can take this slope option. I can set my target point, i.e. the top of this uh, new spike that we've created. And uh, if I right click on this, on uh, this is on PC. This is also possible on console. Um, and I would recommend bringing up the controls to see what the settings to do this on console are. Uh, if I left, uh, if I right click on this, I can set my slope target point. I then come out and select where I want my slope to start. I left click, hold it down, and then I move towards my slope point. And you can see. As I do that, it's actually creating a slope up to my slope point, which is really neat. I absolutely love this function. And you can, uh, yeah, you can just basically create slopes up to, uh, up to a point. And if I come out of the build menu for this now, you can see from our start point here, all the way up to the top, we've got a nice, simple slope really really great and and such a wonderful option to uh, allow you to to create a, a little bit more interesting things on your farm and you can see again something that you couldn't do in the previous game 
That is almost vertical. Really, really nice, that. So let's uh, get that smoothed out. So we go back into the construction menu, back into the landscaping. And you can either lower it uh, by uh, doing the right mouse button on that. Or what we're going to do, which is to uh, get a slightly larger area so we can increase our brush size, which we'll do. And then we're just going to smooth out uh, this and level it down and you see it goes nicely across like this and levels back out really easily like so uh, there we go so that has got rid of our spike so now i want to have a look at the painting section and the painting section uh again really nice and much simpler than it was in previous versions you get to choose which version of texture you want to paint now, uh, we are actually going to paint uh, the same as we have at the moment, which is uh, gravel on here. And you can change the size of your brush again, uh, in this case using N and M. And you can also change the uh, cursor shape to a circle. And I'm going to get rid of this field. We're going to use all this area to build our farmyard in. So let's just uh, clear this out. And you can see just wipe over it and it will clear everything out and give you a nice area in which we can work so like that just give it a paint we'll take it up to the edge here like so cross our bridge and all the way like that uh q and e on pc is to rotate your camera like that and there we go we have a nice area here now to put our farmyard in now i want to keep this is the nice thing about being able to rotate as well we can give uh we can actually turn around look at the various places change our sizes of our brush and brings it in and down and like that and now we have a much bigger yard than we had previously. Now to place buildings, which is going to be our next thing on here. Uh, we'll head over to the buildings menu and we have a vast array of sheds available to us under here. Uh, some, uh, some fairly nice things actually. I'm going to go for this large uh, Horriman shed to start us off. We will put this down the other side and you can see on the screen the whole time how much that these uh, the, a given shed will cost you to purchase. So you've got the base price, in this case 312500 plus the price to raise, uh, to, to level the ground out or to move the ground to make it work. Now, one thing that is on this that wasn't or that isn't on this that was on fs19 is the ability to lower and raise a building to get it to either dip down and to the lowest level or up to the highest level on fs22 it seems to take sort of an average level or a or the level of the point at which you're placing it and takes everything to there so we are going to place this shed here and we can come out and we can have a look at our brand new shed that we've placed. And it hasn't moved the ground too much, this one. You can see it's leveled it out a bit at the back here. And it's really sort of around the back that it's done that. We've got a very big barn door, of course, now leading into the water. But that's fine. And you can see here where it's raised it up a bit. And, uh, and done that. And we have a nice big shed ready for our equipment now if you want to make this a little bit better then what you do is go into the construction menu landscaping and this is where your smooth tool comes in so i'm going to enlarge that and then you just try and soften it around the edge here make it so that it it works a little bit better the other way to do it of course would be to use the new slope tool and get the whole thing to slope up the effect that this has is much more subtle than the slope tool it really is so uh it 
For large areas, you can kind of see it takes a while for it to do. And it sort of averages out over the big area. So having a larger brush seems to be more effective with this than a smaller brush. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's a much smaller effect than it was on uh, FS19. And you need to spend longer doing it and probably better off trying to, to maybe use the slope tool to get things to slope up instead. Next up, uh, we are going to put a production item in and we're going to put some greenhouses so that I can uh, just add a couple of those in and we'll just put a couple of small greenhouses. Now, the thing to be aware of with things like productions is not just the position of your building, but also look out for where you need to fill your production item and where you where you get the products from it. So in this case here, what we've got, hello, Mr. Deer, is we've got a water trigger here. So we need to access the front of it for that. Uh, we have our pallets producing uh, along the side here. And inside, you need to be able to get into these front doors so that you can come in here and set your production up. And we'll go more deeply into production chains in a later set of videos. So please keep an eye out for those. Next, I'm going to add in a silo. So we'll just add in a small silo. And uh, that will go well, actually fairly nicely in the middle of our yard, I think. We'll be able to, to do that there. So let's spin ourselves around. And to spin an item around, because I've seen this asked a few times, uh, what you do is you hold the right mouse button and spin it. So it's not a keyboard control on PC like it was before. Uh, it's now something that you have to go and actually uh, do with the mouse. And then you can see we've got our price there as well. So we will place that down there like that. And then that is all done. And then I want to place an animal pen. So we're going to, in this case, place some chickens. And we're going to place a chicken pen. Uh, and we're going to put them at the front of our yard over here, like so. So this can't flatten that. So you got to, you you get an you get a, an example of everything all the time. And there we are. That is our chickens. And again, with the animal pens, you need to be careful of where you have to fill them with food and. Uh, uh, you know, where all the access to the animal pen is. Otherwise, uh, you might find yourself with those in a strange place. And we do have this bit here where we've got now an odd sort of lumpy bit in the yard where this has flattened this out and, uh, and, and given it this. It's more this front area. You can see here that the back is still on a slope, a little bit of a slope, but the front... Is, uh, has been made absolutely flat. And that is why we've now got this lump in the middle of the yard. So worth taking into consideration that as well. The next thing I want to look at is orchards and grapes. So we've got grapes at here at uh, 105. And you can see the price to place a small section. And this is, this is one of the real strengths of FS22. You want to place your orchard... You can place it along here like this. Now, we are trying to plant this in August, and it won't let me. So, But you can see the run that I can do down there with that. Uh, the same, I think, actually is true of olives. I don't think we can plant that in August either. But you can see how to place that. What we can place that is similar to this, um, and I want to show you, because it has the same functionality, is the decoration. So, we can place... Things like fences and bits like that. So we own here. And we can just put a fence running down the side of the road here. And I can put a gate. See, we want a really big gate to go across here. So we can then put a gate like this. Across here. And we do still have some odd collisions in places. Yeah, there we go. So that was colliding with a bit further up. 
Right, and then I'm going to add a bit of fence again. And you can connect fences to existing ones, which is quite nice. So like that. And then like that. So now we've got a nice gate down into our farm. We we'll bring this here and open them up. And there we go. And this is the nice thing about this in FS22 is the ability to do these and the ability to do these down a slope without it completely messing up the uh, everything and sort of flattening it out. Uh, there are also other options under this uh, decoration setup here. For example, uh, we look under here. We have got a vast array of fences and even further along for the British maps later on, we've got some hedges as well. So we can now, I think, come along the back here and you see we can put in a hedgerow that protects our grain silo like so. So there we are. That is the basics of the menu. Uh, it works really, really well. It is very easy to set up your own farmyard and get everything running. Uh, I hope this, this has given you a good overview of the build mode. And uh, that, yeah, you can now build your own farm and will have fun doing so. I'm going to leave this video here, though. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.